on guys and welcome back to another video on my channel today we are back on a set of Corsa we are trying to beat the pole lap time of Lewis Hamilton's spa record in 2020 a 41 2 let me check a 1 minute 41 seconds and 252 milliseconds so this is what we have to beat and if you can't tell I'm still sick so sorry also that I didn't upload the last few days I just don't feel great and I have a massive headache but anyway we are here on spa a set of Corsa we are using a mod from the W11 I don't actually know from which so I think it's from the high society discord server so yeah go and check it out and they were using the c4 tires for this run on spa back in the days which we still do, do use nowadays but they've changed obviously we will already change the setup a little bit and we're gonna drive in tv cam because that's what we are gonna run today because i want to you guys like it i do like it and this is all that matters in the end of the day we're ready to shoot for the first lap here in spa we're gonna do a little warm-up run on the mediums i don't know why it's cloudy i actually do not understand but anyways We're going with it. This mod looks a bit nicer than the other one we've used, but I feel like sometimes it's very slow. I don't think there's any super great mod of the W11. I'm really sorry for the coughing. Maybe Chan can do some magic here and edit it out a little bit. But yeah, this is an absolute monster of a lap from Lewis Hamilton. They could also abuse the track limits back in 2020. So we have to keep that in mind. And let's see what our first lap time can be with the medium C3. So we are only one compound harder than what they've used back in 2020. So also here, they were allowed to extend quite a bit. So don't ride <laughs> anything with track limits. This was fully flat back then. I think nowadays maybe... I don't know if it is still. Maybe a little lift. But the track limits were way different. A few years ago. So they could abuse the white lines a lot. We're coming around out of the final... Uh, out of the second sector. Into... What is this corner named again? Man. I forgot. Blanchiment? I think so. For our first time into the bus stop. And very early on the brakes. And we are already way slower. We are a total of a total of three seconds slower. Crazy. So um, for first run, this was not the best, of course. We are gonna I think we need to lower the wings quite a bit. That is the first thing, electronics. Oh, I forgot to put it into a motor mode. Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave the wings, we're gonna change it to the highest possible outcome of the engine setting, which is motor. And now we're heading for our first flying lap with proper engine mode. Still, wrong tire selected, but we're getting warmed up. We're taking our time. I don't want anything to happen like in some other videos where we smash a lap record immediately. Because I think, seeing that 44-1, that was very slow. Even though the lap felt alright-ish, aside from the final chicane. We have to see. We really have to see... Um, How close we can get. I will also up the brake bias. I actually think you need a lower one, but in real life they use like 56, 57. There's an off track. Oh no, lucky. But this is kind of what they did in real life. You can also check that on the official F1 ch uh, channels. I think this lab is already way faster it isn't better driven that's for sure also here they were able to abuse a lot of the track limits top speed a little bit better i think coming around this corner already we don't have any battery left in the tank in the tank yeah funny marcel Okay, 56 is a bit too high. Oh my god, yeah. 
What will it be? It will be an improvement, but I don't think a big one. Yeah, it's it's nearly a 1.4 seconds improvement. 1.3. We are now um, a total of 1.6 tenths off. A little bit less. Uh, one, one, se one second and six tenths off, sorry. Uh, we're getting there, slowly. Let's see, if we if you put on the right tires and we are not, you've seen our changes. We haven't touched the wings yet. We haven't done anything else. We're just going for this lovely C4 compound of tires. It should already get, yeah, gain us a little bit of grip whilst we're actually sliding out of the final corner. Yeah, okay, I'm not a fan of the brake bias, but it was 54, so I just overshot it. I, uh, you know, in my head, I was like, I'm approaching the corner with 56. Placebo, man. Terrible turn one is going to cost us a lot of time down this long straight. Probably two tenths or so. Yeah, and like I said, I'm very sorry, guys, for my um, cold. I know it's very annoying to listen to someone coughing and being sick, so... But I still want to upload and... Deliver some content for you guys. So, yeah. I'm sorry. What can we do now with this tire? It's crazy. Like, imagine the amount of cheese that are pulling on your neck in this corner. I must be nuts. Uh, using all of the available track limits. I have penalties on, so even on Spa in the game. Of course, it's not the updated Spa, this is the older one. But we need the older one, okay? We need this Spa, not the, the modern one. Okay, this could be because of braking. Oh, no. Just want to say this could be our best. Wait, 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 wait. Did we go fast on the C3s? We did go fast on the C3s, no? What just happened? Am I tripping? We did go fast on the C3s. Okay, maybe the brake bias is good. What? Was that lap so bad? At least we made the apex. Top speed is bad. I mean, 321 down at straight. On the F1 game, usually we hit like 340. Oh my god. Oh, and that was not an off track. Okay, lucky, man. Okay, it could make sense, you know? With the C3s, we have less grip, so we we have less time full throttle, and with that, we have maybe more battery, and maybe the straight line speed is so important on the track. Maybe that's the reason why we are slow with the C4s. No, oh, man. I don't want to be sick anymore. I'm sick of it! Okay, I think this lap is even slower. Oh my god. Yeah, we're getting worse and worse. What the hell, man? Okay, okay, okay. We have to change something. I think we have to... Uh, we're going back to C3s. I don't know why. And we're going to lower the wings. Because I feel like we're missing out on a lot of top speed. So we lower them by two clicks on both front and rear. Oh dear, yeah. Yeah, I can feel that. I mean, we should gain a lot on the straights now because of the top speed. We are already close to our top speed now from before <clears throat> without the RS. I mean, look at this. Now we're hitting at least 333, which is an improvement. Now, well, of course, it's very unnecessary now. There's probably a point where the 
C3 compound is worse actually. Can we still take it flat? Man, insane! C3, lower wings, understeer, but still no issue inside. Well, here I can feel it. Probably here as well on the exit. Yep. Okay, we still have a little bit of ERS left. I could see it on our steering wheel. Our top speed is way better now. And it's an improvement. C3. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. We are 8 tenths off. Oh, man. That's a shocker. That's an actual shocker, guys. What is going on? The Z3 is a bastard for me. I want to try the C4, uh, C4 snow again. Because now we have this understeer. This should fix it a little bit. And with the increased top speed. Yeah, we would still run out of ERS quicker. But we have a lot of top speed now. We'll also change the brake bias to 56. Made the apex. Now we just need to nail the middle. Deal with the understeer. Cope with it. Oh my god. It's not much better. Oh my god. No off track. Luck. That's pure luck. I actually feel like the, the C, C3s were a grip here. Why are the C3s so good? Mate. I swear we are going to be slower again. I will cry myself to sleep. I'm dealing with a lot of understeer, which is really bad. Yeah, we're slow. I mean, what if we go to the hearts, man? Intermediate visual. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try something. This works on F1 game. It might work. Uh, it might work. We have um, a big offset between front and rear downforce. It will be very snappy, but we can increase the brake bias and we can be more gentle with our inputs. We will have big top speed now, probably. Before we had 333 as a top end speed. Let's see what we can get now. We have 4 on the front wing, 0 on the rear wing. We already have 320, which we have with 55 wings on the default. 333 pass, now hitting 341, going into the middle. This is looking good. Oh, it's very snappy. But it rotates. This is what we wanted, rotation. Rotation, we have now rotation and top speed. Oh yeah, a little bit too much rotation unfortunately. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, okay. I think we, we need to change the balance a little bit. Maybe 4-1 four, four, or 4-2. Four, Just have an offset of 2. And be fine with it. Oh, but, guys? Ah, oh, There were a few mistakes. It's definitely the way to go. 41. Point four. Um, you know what? We are gonna go immediately to the four two gap. Let's see how much downforce, uh, like how much top speed does this downforce cost? It's two degrees more rear wing. So I'm curious. Again, fifty six brake bias. No lock up inside. 
Okay, top speed is already worse, we can see that. It's roughly 5 kph down or 6. So I think we're gonna hit like 334, 5. Similar to the 3 3 wings, but we have more rotation. And also a bit more stability than before. And if one game this curb would kill us. But I think the lap before was much faster. I think we are lack really lacking that top speed. We have good grip now, don't get me wrong. But our top speed is just not good. 310 and now the battery is already kicking off. This, this is why we are not accelerating anymore. Heading into the bus stop, heartbreaking. And again, not enough. And this was a clean lap. So before we had a lot of mistakes, this time we had barely any. The driving can be improved, yes. Like we're not on the limit, but the mistake, that's the issue. So what if we go two on the front, zero on the rear? Very extreme. I know, I know, it's getting crazier and crazier. Oh my god. Nice, yeah, this is a lot of top speed. That's it. Already 325, so we're 10 kph up on the run before. What are we gonna hit at the end of the straight? Okay, that is mad. 346. But the understeer is also very mad. Terrible, man. How can this be so understeery? I mean, yeah, we are running two front wing, but Jesus Christ, it does not want to turn. Oh no. Oh my god. Just avoid the gravel. Let's see how much time can we make up on the straight here. We have so much more top speed. Jesus Christ. 325 before we had 310 here. So even with this bad lap, we are still faster. Let's see. Coming around the bus stop chicane. For what will be a much slower lap time, but we had a lot of unders here. So uh, yeah, this is also not the way to go. I think the 4-0 was actually very nice. We're trying 4-1. Maybe this is the balance that we need to go for our fast slap because we are now already like recording since ages, probably 25 minutes. I want to go for this lap now. Let's see. Oh man, overshot way too much. This is not helping at all, man. I think we are still gonna hit 340 kph with the 41 wings. Might take a little bit longer. We are like 6 kph down on the 20 wings. Mm. Okay, we're not hitting 340. We get close with 338, I think, or 337. Couldn't look. Yeah, we have good rotation now and also stability. I feel like this is a nice balance. Still a little bit too slow for me on the straight. I think we are not on the best lap. You want a similar delta to the 2 0 wing lap time. But of course, here we are not having to deal with any understeer, which is helping a lot to prepare this exit. We have probably lost just by understeer like six tenths before, so we could beat the lap from Lewis with. Two zero wings, but it's just not the way to go. Way less top speed, of course, now. 
Well, what can we do coming around this final corner of the racetrack? Is it gonna be enough finally? And it is! It is enough, but I don't think it's the limit. We can still... I want to go for another one. I want to cross into the 40s. It's too close. It's too close for my liking. We are going 3-0 wings. That's our attempt now. If 2-0 was to understeer and 4-0 was too snappy, then maybe 3-0 will be the one that gives us ultimate performance on the spa Franco show racetrack. Overshot it again, but, you know, it seems like it's my weak corner right now. Power up there through Arion, DRS wide open, heading towards the end of sector one. Now heartbreaking at the curb or after. Down to fourth, rotate the car nicely through Lecom. Fifth gear on the exit, be gentle because the rear might step out. Third gear, rotate the car again, fourth, and now use as much as you can of the track without losing the car. Easy does it through, no, uh, pull on. No oh, man. Bro, you can't be for real. And another terrible bus stop, man. This is like a nightmare. This was a nightmare lap. An absolute nightmare we're still fast on lose. Okay, guys, you know what? <laughs> we did it, okay? We didn't have a single good lap. That's why we're going again. I don't care. One more try. 3-0 wings. 54 brake bites. Clean driving. No ridiculous pushing. Okay, we gotta slow down. Good turn one. Push. Focus. Top speed is over 340. All we need to know. All good. I can't imagine that this car would understeer this much in real life. It looked so easy to drive and lose his hands. Maybe just a skill issue. Okay. We're on a clean lap. We, um, I think uh, we hit every apex. We didn't have any big snaps. It might have not been perfect. But it's pretty decent so far. So let's make sure that in the final corner we also don't lock up. And we don't overshoot it like this. Good traction. And power down to the line and it is a 40.476. And with that guys, I wish you a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment and follow me on Instagram. I would really appreciate it. So have a lovely one. Yo Marcel, see you in the next one. Peace.